Zam Boney number two. We are Zamboning Brad Marchand's tears. This isn't, I know this sounds like old news. We've Zambonied Brad Marchand many times. We're only going to be talking about old news because remember, we can't talk about anything new. We can't new, talk about any new, new news. No New Jersey. So no news. It's all old news. You can still send nudes. We encourage you. But no nudes. Send news. Send no nudes. news. Send nudes. No news. Got it. Don't send news. Got it. Cool. Got it. Brad Marchand's tears. Uh, we're not talking about it anymore. Yeah, and no one cares. he might be the most Zamboni person of all time. I th- I do remember us talking in the past about Z- uh, him being dragged behind the Zamboni as a punishment. Right. This isn't that. This time we're very specific. It's just his tears. That was a good timeline. That was a good timeline. Yeah, we don't need to talk about his tears. Uh, Bradley, go to your room. Yeah, we're disappointed. We're disappointed in you. Whining isn't going to solve anything. It just we're, feels like, haven't we been through this already? Didn't we raise you better? Bradley... Susan Marchand, go to your room. Go to your room. Go to bed. In this family, we don't resolve things by crying. We go out there mm-hmm. and we act like a big boy. Yep. That's You're right. a big boy. That's right. He's a big boy. Yep. You can be harsh on him. Oh, it's, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. Be. You can be. It's I, okay. I don't mean to. You can take it. I don't mean to get like too intense about it. He's not going to cry again. He's not going to cry again. He's not going to cry again. If he does, we'll send not, him to his room. Not going to cry again. You're not. Gonna cry again, Bradley. Yep. You embarrassed us in front of the entire parent-teacher conference. Yep. It's okay. You can just keep yelling at him. It's fine. I'm sorry. No, it's good. I know. I'm telling I know. You it's good. We, when we decided to become parents, we promised ourselves we'd never be those parents. Yep. And but you grow in. You grow into it. You become what you hate. You become what you hate. He cried at the end of the talent show. That's like every parent's nightmare. Yeah, I was embarrassed. For yeah. Brad and myself. As caring parents. But at least we adopted him so we can de-adopt him, I assume. I'm, yeah, I assume we, we can opt out of this contract or yeah, something what's like the, that. Yeah, uh, what's the opposite of emancipating? Oh, abandoning. Abandoning. Yeah, we can abandon him. Let's abandon Brad Marchand. Do you think he'd fit in like a wicker basket? We could probably roll him down some could, sort of Egyptian river. We could leave him in front of a fire hall. People still do that, right? Yeah. Can we put him in front of, like, a? can a nun find him in a in a back alley? Would that be the first time that Brad Marchand has been left in a basket in front of a fire hall? Write us in. Write us in. Turland. Turland. You know, normally I we have a, a bigger well to draw from of our audience when we need research done for us. Right. You know, like our writer uh, of our Hot Black Ice, The Violent Legacy of the Hockey Sport Podcast book, forthcoming. Looking at you, Cody. But... Right now, we only have Turland. Yeah. So I think a lot of our like fact-checking and research is going to be a little slow this episode. So apologies if we're more wrong than normal. Right. And by more wrong, I mean wrong once. Yeah, we've wrong, never like been wrong. Maybe once for a second, but barely even. But then we, it turns out we were right. And also, who cares? Yeah. Who cares? Stop. Stop it. So do it up, Turland. You got it. You got it, Turland. Good job. 